It's a good season. I mean, the regular season, anytime you can get that many wins, it's good. It's a seven-game hockey series. We could have won either way against a real good hockey team. Get down to the final eight teams, and then they're all good hockey teams. And it's a, you know, it's a little sometimes a break, sometimes a bounce, sometimes a detail that you still want to tighten up on, whatever the case may be. But uh, you know, it's obviously. Hey, everybody wants to win the championship, but only one team gets to do that. But there was certainly a lot of good hockey and a lot of positive things here to build on. I thought our guys, the way they battled in the seventh game, I mean, they, they battled hard. Like, there, there were some things we, we could have came ahead of that game. Yeah. You, you know, it's, it's frustrating we didn't. We certainly could have. To go in that building, sold out crowd, didn't phase our guys. Our guys weren't played. Kelsey, Kelsey coming from Tier 2 to playing a ton of games this year, to going through a little bit of ups and downs. and. But to go and play in a game seven like that, play as well as he did, that's, the, the ability's there. That's got to give him a ton of confidence to, to take his game to even another level. So it's just, again, that, that whole playoff series just helps you uh, helps you for next year. You never really want to end that way. So seven game series, and obviously we took an early lead, and I think we kind of went from there and played some top games. They're a really good team, obviously. They played with us all the way through every game was a battle, and uh, we obviously didn't come home with the results we wanted to, but next year we're going to come back with that. Uh, two, we're going to come back, and then next year, and I think next year, we're going to have the group to do it. I feel like after the hit, I think there's kind of just no really concussion symptoms or anything. So we're both good from that, so I we did a really good job there. The trainers and everything handled that very well, and I think kind of got me back as soon as possible, and it was obviously good. felt good when I played the game, so it was nice. I watched the hit back. It's kind of, don't really have any thoughts on it. I don't really care. It's kind of a hockey play. You, it happens to you, and it's kind of... You look past it and don't really hold grudges or anything on it. So. It's pretty sad right now, uh, obviously the loss and our season ending and then also for me, kind of my junior career is over, so it's a hard time and you always look forward to coming back here in the fall and just kind of seeing the guys again and uh, this, this time I won't have that, so it's definitely a hard moment, but I'm just going to cherish it and kind of enjoy time with teammates in the last little, little days we have together. So I was fortunate to get traded here back when I was 17 early that year and been here kind of ever since, so four years, but it, it's been amazing. It's a first class organization, you get treated like pros, and, and just everything within the, the dressing room on the ice, kind of away from the ring, too. It's just it's unbelievable, and I love Red Deer. I kind of always stop by and show and visit old friends, so it's, it's a, a second home for me. If you did have a message for the guys who are coming back about how to bounce back from such a defeat, what would it be? Yeah, no, I think just take kind of the loss and, and learn from it. and. You know, playoffs are it's up and down, there's momentum swings, so you just gotta learn from that. And I know everyone in there is intelligent hockey guys and, and they'll take it and, and learn from it and they're gonna be a strong team again next year, so they gotta work for that to be better in the playoffs and they'll learn from that. So just uh, just work hard and have fun and just uh, like next year is a good opportunity to can kinda of come back and show everybody that we're a better team. It's been a lovely time here and I've enjoyed every second of it. Just, kind of soaking everything in during the years and just kind of working hard and I mean it's, it's uh, got me far. It's uh, definitely worth like uh, like being worth it and kind of thinking of after the COVID year and should I come back or not and coming back I think it was the best decision for me and, uh, and uh, also for the organization. So. And overall you enjoyed your time here probably or you wouldn't have come back even. Yeah, it's uh, my village have been so so nice and nice people. So it's been so easy to come here, and they treated my, me like family, and it's made the transition so much easier. How will you look back at your time here in Red Deer? Yeah, I'm blessed. Honestly, I came here as 12 rookies. I think 13 rookies we had when I was 17, and you know, being one of the last guys to be still standing in Red Deer, it's, it's a blessing. I'm honored to be still in Red Deer. You have to be happy with the way your play came along over the last couple of years, especially this year, the jump that you made. Yeah, honestly, it was huge. Uh, you know, I struggled the first couple of years, even though COVID too, trying to keep, find my way in this league. But I'd probably say halfway through last year, I started finding my footing, and you know, I just carried on to this year. What do you? Uh, what, what does the future hold for you, as far as you know, you'd, you'd like to put a, a pro book somewhere? Yeah, that's that's, that's what I want. So anyone wants that. Uh, Probably be going to school most likely, but uh, if the pro deal comes my way, then that's what I'm going to take for sure. Okay. What do you want to do in school? Uh, I don't know yet, to be honest with you. <laughs>